There's been a lot of discussion recently about the federal support that universities receive for facilities and administration to conduct biomedical research. I'd like you to hear directly from a young scientist about why such support is vital. Hello, I'm Alon Klein. I'm a new assistant professor here at Harvard Medical School. I worked really hard to become a scientist. I initially trained as a physicist at the University of Cambridge in the UK. And during that time, I became excited about applying my training to solving problems in biomedical science. That brought me here to Boston, where I did my postdoctoral training. And during that time, I developed a new device which allows us to look at patient samples, looking at individual cells from very, very small amounts of material. I'm now using my invention, which is right here, to find new ways to attack cancer and to study the ways that blood cells are formed in the human bone marrow. I'm also helping a company to develop a commercial version of this device so that other people can use this invention too. The US is the most exciting place for someone like me because of the extraordinary partnership between universities and the federal government. I've been told that this goes back to a decision made in the 40s, a decision that seems really smart to me, that the most efficient way for the government to enable discovery is to make use of universities which already do research instead of building more government-run labs. That means that I and other scientists have to compete for grants. It's tough, but does identify the most exciting ideas. The university is then reimbursed for part of the cost of the facilities that are used. Universities are really like startup incubators. They provide all the infrastructure for somebody like me to get going. For example, they provided the architects and construction workers needed to build my lab and I analyze my data on a sophisticated computer system that is shared by all the scientists at my institution. There are a host of other services, which frankly, I have no idea about. Accounting, grants management, cleaning the labs, health and safety, all of this is managed for me so that I can focus on doing breakthrough research. At the moment, I only have one NIH grant, though I hope to successfully compete for more NIH grants in the future. That means that at the moment, nearly all of this infrastructure is being supported by the university. And I really want to stress that all of this facilities and administration is vital to my research, even though it is given the name of indirect costs. But here's the thing, even for large, well-funded labs with many NIH grants, the NIH only ever supports a portion of the indirect costs. The rest has to be covered by the university. Reducing the facilities and administration payments on NIH grants would cripple the research enterprise and frankly, it would be a disaster for scientists like me. I really do hope that the NIH can continue to support me and my colleagues in doing science, pushing the boundaries of knowledge and working towards the cures of the future.